Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Make sure my mic sounds so I ain't got to do this 5,000 times. Okay, so here's what's going on. I'm going to show you how to get a uh, Neo Fly home base up and working. So, first, you got to do is go to options. Oh, the general options are already there. Developers, turn on developers, hit apply and save. Uh, you'll go to help, installer SDK, installer core. You'll click that. You'll open that file, go to next, and you'll just uh, you remove it. I already got it installed, but you know, just go through the install process. Yes, finish because I already got it installed. I'm not doing that again. Okay, so is that a start restart flight similar so many times? I didn't even funny, and I'll show you what this is used for too. So, yeah, we'll close that. Alrighty, so we'll minimize that. All right, then what you want to do as you do that, nope, go back to options, general options, developer, you'll turn that off, apply and save, go back, go back. All right, now for this, you're going to have to quit Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we'll quit the desktop. Yes. Like I said, I'll, uh... okay, now we're going to do a home base, shall we? So after you install the SDK and all that good stuff, I picked them right here. I'll put it, I'm going to build my airport kind of close by. So we're going to go ahead and buy some stuff. Got 3 million. I edited this profile. So, yeah. So we are going to, let's buy some stuff. Let's go here. I'm going to buy that one for a million. Bam. All right, we'll buy the office. Buy the maintenance shed, buy storage, go and get some accommodations. We're going to go ahead and max this bad boy out as much as possible. Passenger lounge, oh yeah. You know what? We're going to need some fuel. We'll get a fuel station. Go and get us a tower. Get us some parking. All righty, we're going to do our, uh, lights. I'll show you how to do your ILS setup in a minute because you got to have a magnetic variation. We'll get an asphalt. Yeah, we're getting it all, ain't we? I'm going to sell the grass because we ain't going to need it. I mean, it comes with a grass runway and some small runway, but we're not going to use those. We're going to max this out. We'll do a medium runway. And we'll do a large runway, but they're pain the ass to put somewhere. Hey, we're going to do a heliport. Bam. Okay, now we got all that done. Now, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I got lost. There's our airport right there. Anyway, it's out in the middle of the ocean. So I'm going to come over here, North Carolina. This is my home state where I lived for a while. No, oh, there's North Carolina. I'm sorry. I put it in Idaho because I found Caesar. I try to put my airports a little bit better place. It's, it's easier to find in. It's easier to find a good spot for this. Okay. So, if you right click, brings it up. No going to show you this. You can do your heading. Let's say three three zero, right? You can right click again. Bam! It turns it. But for now, we'll put it back at zero, which is the same as three six zero. Okay. Let's find a good spot. I don't like covering roads and stuff like that. If I can help it. Um. Suggestion, when you build these, you want to put it somewhere like on farmland or something where you ain't got no trees to worry about. We got some little dirt roads here, but you know what I'm saying? After we build that airport, they just go around it. This looks like a good spot, actually. Now, is there any trees here on landing? No, looks like, well, no, don't look, it looks like all farmland for the most part. But you know what? That's a lot of uh, this. Uh, right here looks like a better spot. No, I'm covering the road. It might take you a minute, and when you try to compile it, it might tell you that. Uh, yeah. Would it fit in here sideways? Let's try one eight zero. Oh, wait a minute, that's direct. What am I doing? 
There we go, nine down. Okay. What? Well, this is a. Oh, right here. Ain't no trees to continue with. I don't reckon I like to zoom in and make sure. Nope, and we are good to go right here. There ain't really no roads. We got a little road cover, but. You no, know who cares? Right? Ain't that supposed to be 90, but it don't. Yeah, it's straight. All righty. Got plenty of room to come in. Okay, we'll get the altitude. Now, keep these numbers in mind. They're going to come in handy for your magnetic variation for your ILS. All righty. Hopefully, this works this time. Compile. Yes. The Windows is probably going to crash, too, just FYI. Well, Microsoft Flight Sim right here is probably going to do the little crash thing. I don't be exit out of it before that happens. So, you're waiting on the top lift over here. There it goes. It's compiling it. Then I'll load all. All righty. And I am back. If you hear people in the background. I am sorry. I wish I had to get your magnetic variation. Hey, right, what you got to do? Come here. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below for this. And if you, uh, you can also get it for your phone. Give me a second. And I'll tell you what it's called. I'll also write that in the description if you want to get it off the Play Store. So, let me find it here. Do, 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 do. Uh, I just had it. Where's it at? It is caught. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, nope, ain't that one. It ain't that one. It just a second. It's called Crowd Mag. And if you hit the center where it says WMM, you can enter your information there, too. All right, so what you got to do, take this right here. I hold shift, go all the way over my arrow key. I'll hit copy. Come here, I'll paste that right here. Now, if you come right here, you copy the minus, but you're going to have to delete that. It took me a bunch of trial and error to figure that part out. All right, we'll hit shift. We will copy, and we will post that right there. Now, take that minus. Get rid of it and put a zero. That will give you the proper thing for the for the what it comes up minus longitude. All right, you see he's got your dates and stuff. Oh, this is as of August first of twenty twenty four. So we'll come here. Let's see elevation. We're gonna put in two six three, and right here it is in feet for the elevation, and we'll calculate magnetic minus one point two four. So I will go here. Since this uses minuses, I will go minus 1.24 and validate. There we go. I'll probably have to restart to it, but that's all right. But, yeah, I'll leave the link in the description for this down below. All righty. It looks like this is loaded in. All right. So there's a magnetic variation. All right. We'll go right here. Sorry for the background noise, y'all. Okay, be sure when you compile too, we got it compiling, make sure it always goes through until it lets you hit the enter button. If not, it's not going to work. I forgot to show that while I go. I think I exited out too early and had to recompile. But when you see the screen come up, when your command prompt is going through it, wait till it says the enter key or it's not going to be uh, complete. So that's my fault. So we're going to try to type in our air base. Here it is, Neil Fly Home Base. Uh, you know what, there we are going to, uh, where my weather at? Yes, that's, that's fine. So here's our home base. Uh, we'll depart here. There's a helicopter pad. So let's see what it looks like, shall we? We'll go to daylight. Now, I've tried this before, but I couldn't get all the buildings to show up no matter what I do. So we'll see how it looks. All right, let's fly. Like I said, the parking, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I let it compile, and I've yet to see it, so we'll find out here if it puts the tower and everything in there. If not, I'll do some research and figure out what's going on. Like I said, we should have ILS and all that stuff. Man, I swear I can't get nothing done not recording without a bunch of background noise. No matter how many times I've been working on this video for ever, having to stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Keep your fingers crossed that it loads in everything. 
Uh, it's got my tower and stuff ready to fly. I know it's going to be All right, we're in the hangar too. All right, get B. Yeah. All right, let's go. So we're in the hangar. So it does give you a hangar. Everything is on board. So you start your hangar. There's our wind sock. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah, we got a little bit of parking, don't we? Look, we got the fuel zone. Now, my opinion, though, for as much money as we paid, hang on a second. Sorry about that. I'm making a, like I said, all right, let's, uh, ooh, I might do this profile. Anyway, um, that's a nice runway. So, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, let's do camera mode. Do, 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 do. Let's, uh, zoom up the draw speed a little bit. And their background noise is killing me. But, yeah, see right there? Got your ILS. And we're going to check it out at nighttime, too, here in a second. There's your runway. I actually got a wind sock. Used to. I couldn't see the wind sock show up. But we got a little bit of parking. I mean, they need to add a feature, though. We can get like big parking. Yeah, I might have to contact the developer and ask him if he can do that. Because we got all this space. We could have like a big old parking area. I don't know. Maybe you do with the larger runway. Maybe maybe I'll have to try that. You know, and, and if I do the large runway, maybe it shows up. But like you said, there ain't no trees to contend with. And we got the ILS system. So uh, let's see what it looks like at that time real quick. I have yet to ever check it. There we go. So we got all this. Yeah, we can see it. Don't see no blinking lights. Maybe it's on the other side. But, yep, yeah, that's how you do it. I hope that helps some of y'all out. Like I said, this video, I was supposed to get out sooner, but, you know. I still don't know what causes that sometimes. I'm about to adjust that. I don't know what causes that shimmering. I get it from time to time. But look right there, you get the old fly. We'll come down here. Check out this part. Okay. I was in a little runway lighting things, but that's all right at the end. So, yeah, when I upgrade to a large airport, I'll let y'all know. We'll come back and look at it. So yeah, I hope that helped y'all. I hope that showed you how to do everything. Now let me piece all of these videos I've got together. So yeah, there you are. That a little bit of glitching right there, but you know, it is what it is. It's still brand new, so yeah. But yeah, check that out. Fuel zone, look at that. Probably be better if you actually connect it to a road, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you. Anyway, yeah, well, that's it. Maybe they'll add that road. Maybe they'll add that feature later too. Maybe some roads and stuff that you can connect. All right, well, I'll catch you on the next video, and I appreciate you.